Hi YouTube, this is Patrick with the second entry in my Blu-ray DVD column. Um, I'm going to be going in a more alphabetical kind of order. I know I started with Star Wars, but I'm just going to kind of go... Well, I'm going to start with numbers, actually. Numbered movies first before uh, I get into A. So my first entry is 2001 A Space Odyssey. And uh, by the way, I know it looks like I have matching moles all of a sudden here, but I don't. Uh, this is a cut shaving. Um, but anyway, 2001 A Space Odyssey. Um, considered a classic by film critics, you know, film, you know, respected film directors, writers. Um, I had seen it a couple of times growing up, you know, in passing, not the whole thing straight through. Um, partially because my family didn't really enjoy it. My grandfather saw it, actually, in the 1960s in Dallas, Texas, and he walked out of the theater. That's the closest, like, personal connection to the movie that I had. Uh, but it was eight dollars, so I picked it up. Uh, I figured I'm a film snob, I should have some Kubrick movies. Um, so yeah, I picked it up. And the good news is that visually, this movie is stunning on Blu-ray. They, they took it from a 70mm re-release print of the film, which is, I think, second highest quality to like an IMAX film. So um, basically the movie looks like it was made yesterday, as opposed to 1968 which is, I mean, that's what Blu-ray can do um, when it's at its best. Uh, now, that's the good news. The bad news is once is a more personal thing that I sat through the movies two and a half hours, and while the visuals were awesome and everything with Hal was awesome, by the way, my little webcam uh, you know, camera there is looking a little like Hal, which is starting to bother me. But uh, anyway... Um, yeah, so that I liked. I kind of understood the idea of, like, rebirth and stuff like that that was going on, some evolution. Um, you know, music was great. Um, but I don't... I, I never... I don't ever think I'm going to want to feel like just throwing this on. Like, hey, let's, you know, let's put this on. Like, even if I was, you know... Even if someone was really, like, drunk or high, I think they wouldn't... I think if they were drunk, they'd probably fall asleep, and if they were high, they'd just, you know, eventually shut it off and grab some food, so... Um, yeah, basically, I, I don't... For me, this was a mistake. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna recommend or not recommend stuff, you know, to you guys on here, because... Uh, it's a, a different recommendation than going to see a movie. This would be recommending to actually buy something and put it on your shelf. I don't want to do that. That's not, you know. But uh, I will just say, for me personally, this one was a mistake. Mistake for me. Um, and do not blind buy this. This is something, if you're interested in seeing this, rent it. Or, you know, find it online or something. Borrow it from somebody before you buy it. Because uh, this might not be for you. Um, now, I mean, I can watch any kind of movie, um, and I have a couple other of, of Kubrick's films, but just, um, even, like, some of the stuff, uh, in the Terrence Malick film, Tree of Life, this year, you know, which was, there was some stuff in it that just reminds you of 2001, um, you know, some real gorgeous stuff, and the movie really is, this movie, it really is gorgeous, but, um, it's not enough, not for me, not for me to just throw it on, it's just boring. Um, you know, I, I, I could, I guess, have an intellectual conversation about it and about what goes on in the movie, um, but I'd rather talk about something else. I know I'm probably going to get some dislikes, you know, uh, but what are you going to do? That's my personal opinion on this. Um, let me know if there's any, if you want to comment and say what you thought about it, why you love it, while, you know, or just ask some questions or something like that, go ahead. Uh, Alright, I'm going to wrap this up. I'm going to be back on Monday with the Dexter review. Um, and then I'm going to do the next Blu-ray one. Uh, it won't be the next alphabetical in order one, because I'm getting two new Blu-rays next week. Um, one's an animated film, and one is a... Well, they're both classic. One animated, one not. Um, so I'll do a double one for those two next week after the Dexter review. Um, but alright. Later, guys.